Rachel, Natalie, hey, congratulations for blank. Thank you. Thank you. It's very exciting. It is. It is. It's 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 quite an interesting movie. So I'll I'll ask you both. Uh, and he'll start with Natalie first. Uh, Natalie, what initially attracted you to a direct a film like this? Well, actually, I, I was kind of planning on what my first feature film would be. And I had the idea that I wanted to do something sci-fi with drama elements, with AI. And we were looking for a script for quite a long time. And it just, we we picked another film that was actually about time travel. And I thought, this just isn't working for me. I really want to follow my passion and do something about what I what I'd planned. And my producer Rebecca said you okay if you're going to find something you need to find it now because otherwise we're going to go ahead with this one it's great script and you know we're all ready and um literally on the drive back from Pinewood Studios I found blank and I was like read the synopsis and I was like this is the one I've got it and she's like you need to read it you do not know that that is the one I was like no I'm sure so she's like okay read it two pages and I was like this is it and uh, she was like, get to the end and then we'll see. And I finished it. I was like, yeah, I love it. I've got to make it. And it just felt perfect for my first feature film. Wow, that, that is impressive. What about um, for you, Rachel? What, what initially drew you to this project? Well, I think it's, first of all, I think it's really interesting, Natalie, that you said that. I mean, I'm wondering where you go and look at all these films. Are they coming through your agent? How is that? Where are all these films? Do they sit waiting to be found by directors? Well, how does that work? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, script websites. Actually, it was Ink Tip that we found blank oh, through. Yeah. And we found um, two more scripts through there, actually. So it's gone really well. It's a really good site. So writers put their films there and then people, directors come along and, and they take it from there. Is that how it works? Yeah, it's like yeah basically. Wow. Directors, producers. Like a marketplace. Okay. Yeah, for scripts, it's great. Wow, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Um, so, yeah, I read the script and was immediately taken in by the fact that this was not quite a two-hander, because I know, you know, there are other people in the movie as well. But for two women to have the, the focal um, parts and to go through such a journey together, I just loved the idea of doing what came down to a two-hander, even though it's with a, a an AI or whatever we call, well, I don't know what, she's not a robot. I suppose we call her an AI, do we? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it, it, it it's such a good role for, as an actor to go, oh my goodness, I'm, my character goes in there and she's quite cocky and she's quite sort of, you know, she's drinking and she's being, and then she has such a breakdown over the course of the experience that she has. And it's all opposite an AI. So it's an incredible, it's an incredible role, you know, the art that she goes through. And of course, what actually happens, I find, I find it really interesting. I was reading um, Clara and the Sun by Ishiguro. Do you know, you know, you know the author who did, Anyway, um, amazing book all about AI. And obviously it's a thing that we're all fascinated by at the moment. So I think it's a really good story. And as it turns out, it was quite, you know, looking ahead, we didn't know anything about COVID really at that point, but looking ahead, it was all about to take off for this whole idea of being locked in and not being able to leave the house. Wow, it turned out that it was really, on the nose of like themes that were about to become very current but we didn't know obviously at the time yeah that is that is true natalie i i do have to admit sci-fi films are pretty hard to tackle um you were about to tackle a time travel film but uh, but tackling <laughs> an ai film is equally as hard how did you want to approach something like this um i I wanted to really focus on the characters. I felt that was the center of everything. I think that if you have the right performers in the roles and the right treatment of the script, then you can do anything with it. And design elements were really important. Obviously with it being a sci-fi, there's a visual element to that. 
And we did that through finding the right location and then dressing the location appropriately with kind of futuristic elements. Because the thing with blank is it's kind of like set almost in the universe as it is now, but just a little more advanced. So it's kind of like what would happen if technology had taken on a little bit more and this was available in your household. So it's kind of not vastly different to what we have now. Um, so I just wanted to have elements that showed the technological side of that, really. And um, Rachel, you know, your performance is amazing. Tell us about getting in that headspace uh, for Claire Rivers in, in this film. Well, thank you. That's very nice of you. Um, I, I think, as Natalie just saying, the, the characters are so deep and we had conversations about this, but there's so much to dig into with this character. And again, that's another thing that just brought me in immediately. My other half, my husband, he's a writer. That, and, you know, I, I write a bit myself. So I'm very much aware of that sort of writer's block and that world that you inhabit that's just all in your mind. I mean, it, it's quite a frightening landscape to be in. Um, but I think there is so much. We talked, there was a lot of other elements um, within the film that we talked about, like her history and her realizations. She's a very deep, scarred character. And yeah, it was, it was, I had so much to dig into. And Natalie was brilliant with Heather and I to bring us together in those scenes. I mean, it was, we were so focused on character and she was so good on these little two-handed scenes to, bring us together in that moment it, they were real moments we I mean and I loved it. it's a shame that Heather isn't here to speak for herself but you know we both enjoyed we loved our working on our scenes and as scene partners we just we really enjoyed that digging in even though she's an AI there's still so much going on that's what was quite fascinating because I could let rip and yet she had to keep it all controlled it's, it's a very interesting balance there, don't you think, Natalie? I uh, Yeah, I've actually got something to add to that. That's really interesting that you, you brought that up, Rachel, because there's a particular scene that I really love. And when I watched it, I had chills. And one thing I said to Hader is that she's almost on the point of consciousness. It's like she's reaching out for it, but she's not quite there. And there's a scene where both of the actresses were absolutely fantastic. And they just... Rach was getting so frustrated and she's like thinking, oh God, I'm going to get through to her. And Hader as Rita just kind of had this moment of emotion almost. And you think you're getting through to her and it's like reset. Yeah. And, she, yeah. you know, she comes back again and it's just like, oh, the frustration there. But, but that was something I really wanted to see and, it, and they did it to perfection. Because that frustration, I mean, that's all that Claire has is this AI character. Once the hologram played by Wayne disappears, um, that's all she has to interact with. And so you're, she's desperate for, you know, human interaction. And she, she's so desperate to see that, as you say, that spark of humanity or emotion or something, wants to hold on to it. And then it's gone and it's like, oh, um, so I had a, you know, I had a great scene partner and I had a director who can bring that out of both of us. So, you know, we were lucky. So uh, And a great uh, script, I have to say, a great script that, um, am, a very ambitious script, definitely, but, um, a, you know, a great script, even considering the budget, I think it looks incredibly expensive. I think. <laughs> <laughs> most definitely. And Natalie, how do you balance? Because uh, most movies, usually when they incorporate AI, they only incorporate one type of AI. Um, yeah. And you incorporated two, one in sort of like in an Android form and another in a hologram form, and they're vastly different. How did you want to balance that out uh, between Haida and, um, and Wayne for this film? Well, um, interesting fact is that um, the host, played by Wayne Brady, wasn't actually written into the, the, the draft of the script that I read. It was a voice character 
um, only. And we felt like it was a good opportunity to have an actual performer in that role. And I know Wayne and he loved the script. And I thought, who better to play it than Wayne Brady? He was like master of improv and so charming and just so wonderful and just really summarized the whole vibe of that character that we wanted to portray. So that was something that was really important to me to kind of bring him into it. So I worked with the writer Stephen Herman to develop the character and, and find a way to develop it a little bit more. And he was, a, he's a fantastic writer. So he did it wonderfully. And it was just the difference between the two, like Wayne as the host was very warm and welcoming. He is the host, so he's the host of the house. So he's, he, you know, he stops and has a drink of wine with her, you know, an, an AI version of wine. And he's very chatty and he's the conversationalist in that. Whereas Rita is more, uh, she's, I see her as like a 1950s kind of Stepford Wives housewife. And she's very perfect and very, withdrawn and cold and it's all very factual so the, the two characters were really very different to one another and it was interesting how Rachel played her emotions with both characters she got quite connected to the house but there was like a a wariness of Rita which Rachel did a fantastic job with she really did <laughs> well I have time for uh one, one last question I'm gonna throw it to you Rachel is uh how, how, how much uh, fake wine was there on the set and how much uh, fake running did you do? <laughs> Whoa, the, the, all that, I remember all that fake wine that we had to feel, fill the fridge with. Do you remember? It was just everywhere. Um, yeah. yeah, there was a lot of fake wine, wasn't there, going about. And it was all fake, as far as I remember, anyway. It was definitely all <laughs> fake. And you know what? I don't. I don't run. I've never gone running. I've never been that jogger. And it was actually the, the, the running. That is what you said, isn't it, about the running? It, that was, what, I think, one of the hardest things for me because I was like, how do people jog? And am I going, am I reaching too far? Am I too much upright? Am I I'm supposed to look like a real jogger anyway? Yeah, that was fun. That was a beautiful shot, actually, Natalie. And I know you, you fought hard for that, didn't you? Didn't Yeah. Was that, a, yeah. Was that yeah, something you did later? As a pickup, no, we did. We, no, we did that early on, but it it was very difficult to get like the drone stuff in and that yeah, beautiful yeah, yeah. wide shot that James Oldham, yeah. the cinematographer, shot. Fantastic DOP. Fantastic. Um, yeah. And yeah, we did fight to get those those shots in. Yeah, I and mean, it's good to have that space and that again that it was right there with the solar panels and everything, just to give yeah, that. It had to pain. contrast the isolation of the house. Yeah. And yeah. it was showing the futuristic, the solar panels. Yeah. It's kind of like the future, isn't it? And, you well, know, the open space compared with the, the controlled space of the yeah. retreat. Yeah, definitely. No, it was, that was a good shot. Well, both of you, hey, congratulations once again for Blank. And thank you very much uh, for carrying this conversation um, with us. I can't wait uh, for the next projects for both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank very you. Much.